Thanks, Andy. Special guest with us tonight, Brown Safety TJ Ward joins us. Uh, first of all, thanks for coming in. No, no problem. <laughs> Under the circumstances, yeah. uh, this was yeah. a tough one. It was a tough one. Uh, we didn't get out to a good to a good start, and you know we didn't really finish that well either. But uh, we got a short week this week and Thursday night against the Ravens, so we got to get ready. There was so much going into your game plan, especially defensively, with C.J. Spiller involved, and he gets hurt early in this football game. How much did you think that changed anything? I mean, obviously, Tashard Choice was pretty darn good, too, when yeah, he was in there. Yeah, he did his job. You know, Tashard Choice, he's a good back as well. I think having Spiller, it slowed him out a little bit, kind of. They had to re, you know, redo their game plan because, um, you know, he's a really good back. and. It was to our, to our advantage, but we didn't take full advantage of it, and, you know, we came out with a, a loss this time, so. Yeah, you were the second leading tackler uh, on the day today, but to, to go in and prepare for these guys, did they do anything different than what you expected going into this game? No, they, they did pretty much what we thought they were going to do. They spread us out, um, hit open targets, you know, hit Spiller early, you know, I hit the tight end a couple times, but... You know, they just created mismatches, got us in pick situations, and, you know, we expected that, but we just didn't, you know, we didn't execute as well as we needed to. Coming out of a game like this and, and, and being in the locker room with you guys after the game, it just, uh, it, it, it's tough to describe or really pick a word to describe how the team's feeling last year. I mean, would frustrated probably be the biggest one going in? I mean, you're 0-3 now, and you've got two tough games on the road in a short week. Yeah, I'm, we're very frustrated. Like I said earlier in some interviews, you know, we just have to find something to solidify it and make sure that we're on key and on point with everything that we do. Um, we had some situations where we had could have got out of some some bad situation, but you know, penalties again from last week, they hurt us. So I think we have to stop penalizing ourselves and stop hurting ourselves, and we can come back and get those W's that we're looking for. For you, is it a good thing to have a short week? And if you put this one behind you quicker, uh, I mean, you've had to deal with this. Yeah, before. it's good and bad. You know, on the body, it's not as good, but on the mind, you know, you get to look forward and start your game plan and kind of refresh, refresh everything and get towards the next opponent. So. You know, it's a good and bad thing. We were talking off air a little bit. This is kind of the, for you. This is a first getting ready for a short week because you were injured the last time this this scenario happened yeah. for the Browns. Yeah, I'm, I missed both Ravens games last year, so I'm I'm really excited to get in there and play them this week. Um, you know, they have a really good team and a really good back and a really good quarterback. So, you know, I'm just looking forward to to moving forward from this week and get it all behind us and and get, play the Ravens this week. Do you find yourself watching the Ray Lewis introduction? At, at, at M&T Bank because I mean that that is a production in itself. Yeah, it's it's a pretty it's a pretty exciting <laughs> thing. You know, my rookie year, you know, it was I was like wide eyed, like wow, this is this is crazy. But you know, I can't do that anymore. <laughs> you know, I can't get wide eyed anymore. You know. <laughs> and before I let you go, uh, T.J. Ward Charity Flag Football Tournament coming up next week. Tell yes, us a little sir. bit about it. Um, it's a five on five flag football tournament called it's named Who's the Boss uh, after my Twitter name, Boss War 43. And it's at the um, Lost Nation Sports Park. And have, um, half the proceeds are going to the National Brain Tumor uh, Society. And my mother had, she had a brain tumor when I was in college and they were able to remove it and she's healthy now. So I think it's really important for me. And the winners of the, the, the tournament get $500, and I think the runners-up get $250. But, you know, five-on-five, single-game elimination, and, uh, you know, bring your team, bring your best your best athletes, and it's kind of trying to make it into a celebrity thing. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, it gets, hopefully it gets bigger through, throughout the years, but right now it's the first year, so, you know, it's just for the fun of it right now. Yeah, space, space is extremely limited, so you want to get up. You saw the information. Yes. Get signed up as quick as you can. Thank you so much for, yeah. for coming in. Thanks Always for having me. good to see you. Rest up. Yeah, so we get some rest and get ready for this week. <laughs> All right, Andy.